Hello, my name is Mrs. Harcos. Today I am excited to teach you all about Venn diagrams and how they work. Are you ready? Let's go! Now you might be thinking to yourself, what are Venn diagrams? Well, simply put, Venn diagrams are circles that overlap to show how things are alike or to show how things are different. To start off, you want to have at least two topics. For this example, I'm using apples and bananas. When I think about apples, I know that they are fruit, they are sweet, they are hard, they are round. When I think about bananas, I know that they are also fruit and sweet, but they are soft and they are long. Now I'm going to organize my information. To organize it, I need to draw two circles that overlap. The overlapping part is really important in a Venn diagram. If they don't overlap, you don't have a Venn diagram. Now we're going to start filling out our circles. My left circle is all about apples. My right circle is all about bananas. But notice that overlapping part of the circle? Those are the things that both apples and bananas have in common. So they're both fruit, they're both sweet, they can both be green, they can both be yellow. Now that we've filled out the middle part of our circles, let's think about the things that apples and bananas don't have in common. For example, apples are hard, bananas are soft. Apples are round, bananas are long. Apples are red, they can also be green or yellow like a banana, so that would go in the middle part. Okay, let's try one more. Car and bike. Cars and bikes are both used for transportation, so we would put that word in the middle. A car has four wheels, we put it on the car side, whereas a bike has two wheels, we put that on the bike side. Car has a steering wheel, bike has a handlebar. Now, for the purpose of this video, we are introducing the basic concept of a Venn diagram using two circles. But did you know that a Venn diagram can use more than two circles? For example, if you wanted to make a fancy Venn diagram with three things or three circles, you would make sure that they all overlapped, and then the part in the middle is the thing that all three circles have in common. Now you might still be wondering, why are they called Venn diagrams? They were actually introduced in 1880 by John Venn, who was a mathematician and philosopher. He actually didn't call them Venn diagrams, but they were named after him. Thanks for watching, and remember, Venn diagrams are two or more circles that overlap to show how things are alike or to show how things are different.